This year, 2020, has been a year of way slowdown. It's been a year where, in many respects, we don't seem to get a lot done. Even when we talk about being productive and getting 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 stuff done, it's like, how can you do it? But in our own lives and in our own journey to achieve what we want, we have so many distractions that come up in our life every single day. Social media of all kinds, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Parlor, MeWe, Snapchat, WeChat, I don't even know what they all are. Um, you know, a lot of the new ones, you know, Parlor and Rumble and a lot of those new ones. LinkedIn, they're just, they take up so much time. And if you've got your notifications on and, you know, your phone is dinging at you every, oh my gosh, if you've got notifications on for all of them, it will drive you crazy. Email. The one thing about email is it makes us feel like we have to respond. We have to answer. And I find myself just, when I open my email and see all this, I just delete it. So, you know, I really need to go in and unsubscribe to a lot of things and clear my, clear my deck. You know, clear the deck, clear a bunch of the clutter. Things that I thought were important that aren't anymore. And for some reason, I just don't want to get rid of them. And it's just, it's all distractions. How about Zoom? Huge distraction. You know, somebody puts out a notice for a Zoom meeting and we think we got to participate and maybe we do and maybe we don't. How do you politely say I'm not Zooming today? But Zoom can be a distraction. It's the start and stop of business, economy. You know, if you live in a state where your governor is starting to open up business and then they stop business and they open them up and then they close them down you know just the start and stop and you don't know what's going on and it's just distracting you can't get anything done digital everything's digital today and that can be really distracting because it's just it's invading our mind it's invading our lives Digital is not all bad because we are becoming a digital society, a digital economy. And if you're running a business and you haven't figured out how to make digital work for you, you're going to lose. That's something you need to pay attention to. Texting. You know, it's it's social, it's digital, but texting, you know, the, the text goes off and it dings on your phone. And it's, oh, I got to answer it. Who is it? I got to answer it. And... You get into text conversations. Well, why don't you just go over and call them and have the conversation? Distractions. All kinds of distractions in our life. And it affects our productivity. How do you focus to get anything done with all the distractions that come up in, in your life, in your day? It's really challenging. It's really hard. I want to show you today... what what's called the Productivity Improvement Matrix. And it's taken off of a matrix in the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I think it's the Time Management Matrix that Stephen Covey put, developed in that book, the Seven Habits book. And it's, it's basically the same thing, but I call it the Productivity. It's called the Productivity Improvement Matrix instead of the Time Management Matrix. So I did a little chart. I'm going to show it to you on my little piece of paper here. So I'm going to have to turn it and read it. But it has four quadrants. Where they are. One, two, three, and four. And those four quadrants are set up to be, across the top, it's urgent and not urgent. And over here, it's important and not important and so you create this matrix of all of this and you label them one here it is one two three four and in those four quadrants in the first quadrant up here the important and urgent you know that's your that's your crisis that's your emergencies that come up every day uh your important tasks that have to get done you know or things fall apart it's your deadlines that come up and if you don't get them done, you know, things are going to fall apart. So there are things that are important and they're urgent that you've got to deal with. 
in quadrant two are the things that are important, but they're not urgent. And that's where we spend most of our business, most of our life, most of our day. And that's things like getting exercise, eating healthy, um, building relationships, making preparations to get your work done, uh, planning, making your plans to achieve what you want to achieve and get your work done. This is where we should spend most of our time over here in quadrant two. Things that are, in, are important, but not really urgent. That's most of our day. Then you've got things that are not important, but they're urgent, such as interruptions in your day. You know, you're working on a project and somebody comes in, hey, you got a second? Well, it's, it, it's not important probably. It might be urgent, they need an answer right now. Maybe it's not important. So those interruptions happen. Phone calls. Phone calls, a lot of times, are not important, but they're urgent, you gotta deal with them. Emails. Most of them are not important, but we feel like it's urgent and we have to deal with it. Then there's the fourth quadrant over here. It's not important and it's not urgent. That stuff like busy work, some certain phone calls, you know, you get phone calls that are just not important and they are not urgent. And it's like, why did you even bother me with this? And, oh dear, watching TV, watching Netflix, watching Lifetime Channel, watching Hallmark movies, whatever you're doing this time of year, so many things in our life are not important and they're not urgent. We tend to spend a whole lot of time in quadrant four because it's easy, it's comfortable, it takes up my time. You might feel like you're being productive because there's a lot of stuff going on in here, but you're getting nothing done. These are irritations right here. They're not important. They might be urgent, but they're not important. These are irritations. You have to, di you have to get this done. These, when they come up, you've got to attend to them. You've got to deal with them. This is where you should live your life. So let's talk about the matrix and how to use it. So you need to analyze your time. Where are you spending your time for your day? Analyze your day, analyze your week. Where do you spend most of your time? And then ask yourself, where should I be spending most of my time? If you're dealing with crisis, you're gonna spend a lot of it right here. But once the crisis is over, you need to avoid it. You need to find ways to get beyond it and avoid the crisis that happens. And how do you do that? By planning. So many of us spend our time here because we don't create a plan for our week, for our day, for our year. And so we end up spending so much time in crisis and emergencies. So the best way to avoid quadrant one is to create a plan and know where you're going and know what you need to do. Quadrant two is where all the productivity actually really happens. Because in quadrant two, to, to, to live here and work here, you need to create a list and you need to have a plan. Over here, this is all about planning, preparing, getting it done, knowing where you're going, ha setting those goals. This is where your goals come into play. This is where your plan to achieve your goals come into play is in quadrant two. All of this stuff that is important, but it's not urgent because this is where you're going to spend most of your time. So how do you figure out what you need to do? So the best way to do it is you need to create a list. Create a list, categorize your time, and do it on a weekly basis. So what are you going to do this next week? Today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. I would suggest you, you make this little chart, this little matrix, things that are Important and urgent, important, not urgent. I'm backwards here. Not important and urgent, not important and not urgent. Make your matrix and figure out where you're spending your time and where you need to spend your time. Start tomorrow, do it tomorrow afternoon. And then schedule your days. Where do your days need to fall in here? Some days, because of what you do and what your business is in, some days your day needs to be here because you're dealing with the emergencies and crisis. COVID right now, we're kind of in a, 
steady operating mode but occasionally a crisis pops up and you got to put your day right here most of your days are going to be over here because you plan your day meetings that you have sometimes you know sometimes your meetings fall up over here they're not important and they're not urgent if that's the case dump them just tell me you're going to zoom out for the day because it's really not that important if you've got a huge project maybe you need to break that project up into different parts and put them on different days of the week or maybe parts of your project are very very important and very urgent but some of them are not really important and but they are urgent and so you can figure out what part of your day needs to go into what part of the matrix or what part of your week but you think you can use the same process every day as you start your day where does your day gonna to fall today and your time schedule your time you know maybe you have a few urgent things that have to be done and so you schedule an hour and put it put it right here maybe you put three or four hours of your day here to get things done because this is where you're being very productive and then as things come up and you know they fall into these two quadrants maybe you just dump them say oh they don't really matter they're not they're not important and they're not urgent and just dump them most of your time is split between quadrants one and quadrants two where you shift between the two it's really really important really really urgent or it's important but it's not urgent you're going to go back and forth between these two you need to stay out of three and four not very much time is going to be spent in three and four and but the stuff in three and four it, it doesn't really have to be bad I mean sometimes stuff gets put down here and you've got to deal with it sometimes it's okay to sit there and watch TV because you're chilling with family and it's family time you know maybe that's really important not really urgent but it's important so depends on how you're spending your time and what you're doing doing it doing with it the key is to focus on quadrant one focus on quadrant two and you'll see your productivity improve dramatically if you move things in your life out of these two quadrants and put them up here into these two and focus on a lot right here focus on your planning your preparation your actual getting it done and and achieving what you need to achieve and then when the urgent important things come up you stick them right here and you know that that is very valuable time but don't spend all your time here you'll get burnt out make sure you're putting most of your effort in quadrant two that's the productivity improvement matrix hope that maybe that helps you and gives you a path forward for the coming week for the coming year oh my goodness oh my goodness the year is almost over and 2021 is coming and what a great method to use to plan your year and to understand how your day's going you know you may get to the end of the day and say wow I didn't get much done today why is that well go back and look at your day based on the quadrants and you'll figure out what happened <sighs> Saturday this is your Saturday survival I'm Mark Schinner coming to you from a very cold porch this morning I hope this has been helpful if you can use this matrix let me know if it's been helpful to you and um, start making preparations and plans for a very very product productive and profitable 2021 it's right around the corner have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow